Stories from the driver's seat. Tom was three hours into his five-hour journey from Nashville back to his small hometown in Kentucky, his trusty old silver GMC truck humming steadily along the highway. He had made this trip countless times, yet each drive seemed to bring its own set of reflections and memories. Today, as the sun began to dip below the horizon, casting a golden glow across the dashboard, Tom's thoughts wandered to his late father, whose stories had always made long drives seem short. Tom remembered one story in particular that his father had loved to tell during their road trips, a tale about a mysterious traveler and a hidden treasure in their town, something about an old innkeeper and a missing Civil War chest filled with gold coins. As the miles rolled on, Tom decided he'd try to recount the story out loud, just as his father had, to keep his memory alive and the journey engaging. The story begins in the late 1800s. Tom started, his voice steady over the soft roar of the engine, with an old innkeeper named Silas who ran the Deer Creek Lodge just off the old state road that runs through our town. One stormy night, a weary traveler, soaked to the bone and covered in mud, arrived at the lodge with nothing but a heavy, locked chest and a mysterious air about him. As Tom narrated, he navigated the familiar turns and stretches of the road, each landmark bringing a sense of nostalgia and comfort. The traveler, according to his father's tale, was a soldier who deserted during the Civil War, taking with him a chest filled with stolen Confederate gold. He had come to Deer Creek to hide, but fell severely ill. The innkeeper, Silas, took him in. No questions asked, Tom continued, nursing him back to health over several weeks. But the soldier was paranoid, always guarding the chest, never letting it out of his sight. Then, one night, he vanished just as mysteriously as he had appeared, leaving behind the locked chest under his bed. In the story, Silas tries to find the soldier, to no avail. Years passed and the chest remained untouched, becoming a legend in the town as Silas grew old and the lodge fell into disrepair. Decades later, after Silas had passed, the lodge was renovated, and during the renovations, the chest was finally opened. Tom said, a smile playing on his lips, as he imagined his father's animated storytelling. Inside, they found not gold, but old military documents and a faded photograph of the soldier with his family. It turned out the real treasure wasn't gold, but a glimpse into the past, the man's history, his trials during the war, and his sacrifices. As Tom's truck rolled into the outskirts of his hometown, the sun had set completely leaving only the truck's headlights to illuminate the dark road ahead. He felt a warm connection to his father, grateful for the stories and the lessons about what truly mattered. Dad always said the treasure was in the story itself, in the telling and the listening, just like we did on these long drives. Tom mused aloud, the last mile home, feeling shorter than ever. He pulled into his driveway, the engine going silent as he turned off the ignition. In the quiet that followed, Tom sat for a moment, letting the warmth of the story and the memory of his father linger a little longer before he headed inside. This story is fictional, but may be close to the truth for one of my viewers. Thank you for following along with me. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching and I genuinely appreciate you all.